Welcome to your next tutorial, guys. Thanks for sticking with it and uh, learning about game development with me. Definitely enjoy teaching it. So what we're going to do in today's tutorial is set up some items because, you know, we set up this base item class. Um, so we're going to set up some unique items or show you guys how. Um, so we're just going to create a new class and we're going to call this one Gravity Up or Grav Up because it's more uh, gangster that way. And we're going to finish it, finish the class, set that up. And first thing that we want our grab up class uh, to do is extend our item class because again we uh, created that item class so it could be the base for all of our um, you know items here so we're gonna say extends item and then we got to add our imports um, so um, I'm sorry not our imports we what we have to do is add a constructor so we're gonna click this here and uh, basically now we have the same type of constructor that our item class has and when we create a grab up item we pass in an X value. We're just going to say, hey, we already have this kind of set up within our item class. So we're just going to pass that information to our item class and make uh, our item class constructor generate, you know, where we want this item to appear, the coordinates, X and Y values. So that's all the super does is say, hey, super, your super class, which is item, you're going to take care of, you know, this X value here. So that's what that means. The next thing that we want to do is we want to have a unique color so we're going to hit control space and look for our paint method and within our paint method what we're going to do is go to our item class scroll down and instead of painting it green we are going to comment out this uh, paint method here um, setting the color of our oval copy go back to our grab up class and uh, before we call the super paint method which again is the item class method, we're going to set the color to be red for our grab up. So uh, there we go. Um, next thing we have to do is add our import. And now we have a new gravity up item. Again, uh, what we're going to have to do within this item is change our gravity value, um, you know, increase it, and uh, and so we're gonna have to check for a collision and we're gonna have to you know update our gravity for our ball so, but we won't get into that yet because we still haven't set up our collision detection for these items so let's go into our platform class now or I'm sorry our starting point class and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up all these items within our item array that we set up um, to be gravity up items so right now we just have an item array that has three items within it and then within our start method, uh, we just set up, you know, all of these items to be an item object. But instead of an item object, what we're going to do is we're going to set this equal to be a new grab object or grab up object. And again, this is polymorphism at work because even though these are items, we're defining each item within the array as a gravity up item. Um, and we can do that because the gravity up item extends the item class. So it's pretty much like an item. It's like, hey, man, I don't care. Let's make this work. Let's make something happen. So there we go. Uh, we have that set up. The next thing I want to talk about is when we run our game, uh, this is kind of what it's going to look like as of right now. You know, we have these random heights, but each time it goes across the screen, it's still going to be at the same Y position, our platform, because we only give it a random, you know, height once we created the platforms. So now we're going to give it a random height each time it goes off to the left of our applet and reappears on the right side. So we're going to go into our starting point class, which we're already in. Awesome. And we're going to go up to where we defined our platforms here within this platform array uh, set up. And we're going to go to the Y positioning and copy the code here. So just copy this, get height 40, minus 40, minus R dot next int of a random 0 through 300 integer value. We're going to copy that, go over to our platform class, and then scroll down, check for collisions method here. Oops, it's not within this method. What am I doing? Um, if, we're going to go into this if statement within our update method, and it, once it goes off to the left of our screen, we're going to change the Y value of our platform. So we're just going to paste this here, and then we're going to refer to the Y value of our platform, set that equal to a new random height, um, again, we have to define what this R means here. So we're just going to type out, again, a random object, R equal to new random. 
And there we go. Uh, now we'll have a new random. Oh, well, we don't even have to do that. Crazy. Check this out. We're just going to move this line of code to route his error. And uh, so it's giving us an error. So what we're going to do is we're going to say SP. Probably just clipped out, you know, the tutorial. So you guys probably didn't see me even run the thing because, uh, you know, I kind of skipped over that red squiggly line that you guys probably had. But we have to relate to our applet type. So we're going to say SP, which is the information we get passed in our update method. We're going to say get height. Now we save it. Now we run it, and it should work. All right, much better, much better, much better. All right, so as you can see, our game is pretty awesome, and I'm probably going to play it until I lose, which might be quite some time. So uh, I will catch you guys once I lose. See ya.